Hi, I'm Josh from Posh Restaurant in Scottsdale, Arizona. And today we're going to address a common issue, and that is how to deal with a broken cork. Now we've all had it happen where you stick your worm into a cork and either the cork breaks, the cork crumbles, something happens where you're dealing with half a cork. And we're going to talk about how to rescue it. But first let's tackle a common misconception, one of which is that when opening a bottle of wine, if you have an issue with a cork, it's not necessarily indicative of a problem with the wine itself. Certain wines, a lot of fancier Italian wines, Spanish wines, and expensive long-term aging California red wines have longer corks. And one of the most common problems is just not being used to the extra depth and length. And when you reach in, start pulling the cork out, you rip it because your worm's not in far enough. Again, not a reason for concern, no reason to be alarmed and say, oh my God, there's something wrong with this great bottle of wine. Probably not the case. Uh, there's probably no cork taint, it's probably not an issue, it's just like most computer problems, user error. So what we're going to address is how to fish out that cork without dropping any crumbs, scraps, and how to make sure we just get it out without pushing it back into the bottle. So the first thing we're going to address is the actual shape and size. Well, you're going to use, hopefully, a waiter's arm corkscrew, which has a dual hinge. This dual hinge will allow you to adjust the length and depth of your worm much more efficiently. The second thing we want to address is that when you do this, we actually need to go in at an angle instead of straight down. When you go straight down, you're going to run out of space. And what we're trying to do is gently tug the cork out without leaving any remnants. So what you're going to see me do is address the bottle at a little bit of an angle. I'm going to start just off the center and then twist the cork down and try to go along the side. I'm not pushing. I'm using the shape of the corkscrew to do its work. So now what I have here is a corkscrew that's gently stuck in. I'm not trying to push the cork through. I'm not trying to push the worm all the way through the cork. I'm going to take a little quick two-step process, turn the bottle, and use the shortest side and start to slowly ease my way out, see if I have a good enough grip. If I don't have a good enough grip on the cork and it's not inching its way up or if it's crumbling, go another half turn deeper and then try again. Again, engage the shortest side of the, of the, of the hinge and just slowly take out. When you've got enough length left in your worm above ground, go ahead and engage the longer side. And again, gentle, just lightly and carefully tug out. Now, when you get enough of it exposed, gently tip it to the side and brush away so you don't get any crumbs. And then slowly, carefully remove the last little bit of your cork. And all of a sudden, you've saved the cork and no crumbs. Good luck next time and enjoy yourself.